We're going to stay in Christchurch where a shop owner is taking on sanitarium over the right to sell breakfast cereal. A little bit of Britain shop co-owner Lisa William, Lisa Wilson is refusing to back down over what she says is her right to sell British cereal, Weetabix, in a specialty store. The British shop sells around seven boxes of the cereal to expats and curious Kiwis every day. But Sanitarium claims it's a trademark violation and has seized Lisa's palette of Weetabix because it's too similar to their wheat bix. I spoke with Lisa this afternoon and asked her who blew the whistle. Sanitarium. So they've um, got a border protection on uh, with customs so that if any wheat based cereal comes into New Zealand they can ask what it is and then obviously if it's anything around wheat bix um, they can then ask for customs to detain it. Um, you can pop online and have a look on Google um, if you type FYI wheat bix and you can see all the correspondence between sanitarium and wheat uh, customs uh, to get their law that they got so last time when it was going out of the high court with the previous owner they dropped out um, because according to the old owner it would get overturned by a judge um, because it's the wrong case law that they've been given uh, so I guess that's why they backed off last time and yeah I, now we're just new owners of the stores from about a year so I guess they're just trying to take on us now so what are you going to do about this um, we're not willing, they want it, us to come to an agreement and put a label over the packaging so that Weetabix is crossed out, but um, in my eyes it's not a trademark infringement because we're not trying to confuse any customers, you know, deceive the product or pass it off or anything like that. To be honest, it's pretty much the complete opposite. We have a little niche market of British customers. Um, you know, they, they have to come to our speciality store to buy it or they go online to buy it via our website. It's not competing with them, you know, and Countdown or Pack and Save or whatever. And if a um, supermarket was to take it on, it would end up being an in international aisle because it's a British product. So it would never be side by side with Wheat Bix. And I mean, if you ever look at the box packaging yourself, I'm pretty sure you can see it's completely different. And, you know, it looks different, tastes different. And if you, yeah, you look at our feedback that we've got so far from um, some media and just on our Facebook page, everyone's saying there's no way you could confuse the product. So, yeah, I don't really feel like it's a trademark infringement and, you know, you know we're not willing to back down to them on that. But can you afford to take sanitarium on? You, uh, can you afford to fight them in court, for example? What will you do to get... How many cartons of Weetabix? How many are you trying to get into the country? Um, it's just a pallet that's been held up at the moment, um, so there's about 360, it's only about three grand's worth of product. Um, so, so forgive me for interrupting, you know, and, and, with, with, and with live view, once I interrupt, it gets all gets slightly confusing, but you're standing in front of cartons of shreddies and shredded wheat, a food I've never understood, and so those cartons, you're trying to interview, uh, sorry, trying to introduce roughly 300 of the equivalent cartons of Weetabix into New Zealand. Yeah, um, that's pretty much it. That would normally last us maybe about six weeks in our stores. Um, we also have some British shops in New Zealand that normally wholesale off of us, but um, at the moment, obviously, we can't be doing that. So we probably do about maybe 19 pallets a year of it, you know, and it just seems very stupid that they feel threatened by a small business in New Zealand compared to the probably thousands of packets of wheat bags that they produce every day. So you've got 300 roughly cartons waiting to come in. You say that lasts you six weeks, so my math says that's 50 cartons a week. So you're selling seven cartons of Weetabix a day, roughly? Yeah, roughly. And sanitarium had your container it stopped one of our... at the port? Yes. So what are you going to do now? Do you have to go to court? Um, well, we've just got to go back to Sanitarium. They've sent us an agreement asking us to sign our life away and cover up the word Weetabix. Um, you know, so we're just going to ask them to release the shipment, you know, with no conditions because we don't feel like we want to cover up the word for them because we don't feel like it's a trademark issue. Um, and otherwise we'll put it in front of a judge. Um, yeah, and we'll see what they come back with.
And a short time ago, the General Manager of Sanitarium New Zealand, Ron Scoyne, told us trademarking wheat mix is about ensuring that we're able to protect the products that our New Zealand consumers depend upon. He says Sanitarium has offered Lisa a solution which enables her to sell their product while protecting the wheat mix brand, and they are actively seeking her response.